Hello everybody, this is the Dove Source. Today I would like to talk about a subject uh, that's been coming up a lot over the last couple of days to a week. Uh, and by a lot, I mean at least five to ten times with different people. And I felt a, des a strong desire to, to speak on it. And my aunt always told me while I was growing up, if you have a desire or a thought to act upon something, you should think about it for three days. And if that desire or thought does not go away, then you should go ahead and act upon it. So that's what I'm doing today. And that subject is perfection. This is a difficult subject for most people to speak about or to talk about. Um, it's something that a lot of people strive for or search for, um, yet very rarely do does anyone achieve it. Actually, I don't think anyone ever does. Nobody's ever perfect. Um, it was a well thought out and conscious decision of mine not to do my hair or my makeup or dress up in any special way for this video because not only do I not want to be perfect, but I don't need to be perfect. You know, if somebody doesn't like the way I look or the way I did my hair or the way I dressed, that's okay. You know, we're all entitled to our own separate opinions. Um, what's not okay is is turning around and, and being negative or making negative remarks or comments about it. Um, I'm perfectly okay in my skin. I'm... I'm <laughs> it's ironic I use that. Uh, my daughter will find humor in that. But it's okay for me uh, to like who I am without having to beautify myself or um, make myself look good just for the public eye. Um, perfection is, is really tough, especially for women, because in this day and age, we... We are, it's it inbred in us that we need to be perfect at every moment of every day. We need to look our best. We need to um, be prettified, is what I like to call it, or beautified. And that's just not true. And it's not acceptable. It, w as a society, we should not accept that. We should not teach our daughters that they have to dress fancy or do their hair or have makeup on every day to be accepted by people. Um, when, I, when I talk about perfection, I'm not talking about perfection as in, hey, there's an airplane ready to take off with 200 and some odd people in it and that airplane's not perfect. No, of course you want the airplane to be perfect. I'm talking about perfection in the human sense. Um, several of my, uh, friends have stated lately, um, one in general that, that comes to mind, he's searching for perfection in a mate. Um, and I just have to sit there and I have to think, really? If, if that's the case, you're not going to find it and you're never going to be satisfied with anyone you meet or date you're not going to take that relationship to the next level because if you're searching for perfection, that means you're focusing on the negative in that person. You're focusing on what is wrong with that person or the flaws they have. Maybe they're not a great house cleaner, but yet they're good in every other aspect. Maybe they're not as attentive as you'd like them to be, but um, they have a lot of other qualities, but that one quality that bugs you, that's not perfect, is going to stop you from taking a potentially good relationship to a great level. Um, the definition in, in Webster's Dictionary, I have the college dictionary, and I'm old-fashioned. I don't Google it. I don't look it up on the online. I go to the books. And I'd like to read the definition of perfection out of Webster's College Dictionary. Uh, perfection. It is the quality or state of being perfect, 
freedom from fault or defect, flawlessness, maturity, the quality or state of being saintly, an exemplification of supreme excellence, an unsurpassable degree of accuracy or excellence, or the act or process of perfecting. Now, if we break this down into sections, freedom from fault or defect, in essence, flawlessness. There is not one person on this earth ever that will be flawless. There will always be something. And if you're looking for that in someone, as you know, a potential mate or even a friendship or a family member, you're, you're always going to be disappointed because you're looking for perfection. So it's so easy to point out the flaws that someone else has. It's so easy to focus on that negative and let it get to you and let it be a pet peeve until it builds up and you just can't avoid it anymore. Instead, if you understand and take the mindset that nobody's perfect, not even yourself, and you are able to admit to your own flaws, then it's going to be so much easier to relax and just enjoy life. You're not going to be having all these uptight, stressful feelings about people, um, especially when they disappoint you, because people will always disappoint you, no matter what. You can't control the actions of others. You can't control what they do, what they say, how they are, what their personality is. But you can control how you react to it. And how you react to it is what makes the difference. You can control that. And you can choose to let it bring you down and make you miserable or elevate you make you positive, look at the positive side, look for their good qualities, um, enjoy every moment, um, and it won't be so hard. It, it won't be so hard to then start focusing on the positive traits that people have. The, the next one, freedom from fault or, or I did that one, sorry, uh, maturity. I, there are levels of maturity and of course we all have our different versions and opinions on that. So I'm not really going to touch base on that one. To me, maturity is not perfection. Um, so I'm going to skip right over that one. The quality or state of being saintly. Well, if we've already predetermined that nobody is flawless and everybody has faults, then nobody's really saintly now, are they? Uh, because what is saintly? It's an elevated level. Nobody's going to reach that. You cannot put anyone on a pedestal because if you put somebody on a pedestal, and this is, is kind of different than what I just said, because, all right, I'm telling you, focus on the positive in people, but then I'm saying don't put people on a pedestal. Um, by putting them on a pedestal, I'm thinking, or I'm my, my thoughts are, you can't put them so high on that pedestal that you think they're saintly. Because then when they do mess up, they're going to end up disappointing you. And it's going to be a harsh, brutal punch in the face or in the gut and you're going to feel slighted. You're going to feel extremely disappointed. And you're not going to know how to handle that. And so I'm saying there's got to be a happy medium where you don't focus on the negative, but you don't put people so high up there that you think they cannot do any wrong. Because when they mess up, then you're more likely to overreact to that mistake that they made and not forgive them for it or be so angry with them that you can't get past that and it's going to cause problems. That's what I'm saying. Uh, 
And the last one was the act or process of perfecting. As far as the act or process of perfecting, we all have special areas where we are good at. And the more hours you put into that specific thing, the more knowledge you have with that specific thing and the better you will be. So that's where the expert level comes in. Does that mean that you're perfect? No, there's always room for improvement. To me, perfection is not something that is um, inbred in us. It's not something we are born thinking or having that viewpoint. Um, I used this in one of my last videos, but I'm going to use it again. When you're born and you're a baby and you're a toddler or a young kid, everyone is accepted. Everyone is perfect. There is no one that is wrong or um, not accepted to you. You, It doesn't matter what color they are, what nationality they are, um, what their belief system is. If you are nice and polite and accepting of them and nurture them, they accept you and they love you. And even if you mess up or you fail, they forgive you as quickly as snapping a finger or blinking an eye. Why is that? That's because they don't have that trait inside of them to say, you're not acceptable because you're not perfect. Instead, in their eyes, you're perfect. I think as we grow older, we're taught by our surroundings. We're taught by society. We're taught by um, the people that surround us. Perfection, perfection, perfection. And TV and movies and commercials and everything is pounding it into us that you have to be perfect. You have to be perfect. You have to be perfect. And that just sets people up for depression and anxiety and anger issues. It's wrong. It's a learned trait that every single one of us on this earth end up going through and end up feeling like we have to be perfect in some area in order to be accepted and affirmed by others. Personally, I don't care. I, I don't want to be perfect. I don't want to be held to those standards because... I know I'm going to mess up. We all mess up. I look at my mistakes as learning experiences, as experiences that are going to help me grow and mature to the level where I want to be in life. And I just feel like it's a message that needs to get out there. Nobody needs to strive for perfection. Can you strive for being better at something? Yes, but as far as a human being goes, you do not, do not need to strive for per perfection and you do not have to worry about being perfect in order to be accepted and loved. If someone cannot accept who you are, the good, the bad, all of it, then they don't need to be in your life. You are perfect just how you are. You are the vision that God wanted you to be. So accept that. Love that. And know that the more responsible you are going to be, the more you're going to like yourself, the more you're going to start showing that like, and it's going to start emanating from you. And you're going to feel happier, more self-confident, and others are going to start accepting you for who you are. When you accept your flaws along with your strengths or your weaknesses along with your strengths, then you're able to not let the negative get to you as much. That's my opinion on perfection. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you.